Goreen. Goreen. I'm making sure I'm getting it right. Yep. Pronunciation. You can read it. You can read it however you want, but how you actually say it is a totally different thing. I feel. Uh, in uh, the Dutch, it is Lorraine. Lorraine. In German, it's Lorraine. Uh, Lorraine. Lorraine. Uh, uh, in in uh, German, it's uh, 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 in the French, it's more like a Lor Lorraine. Lorraine. So, <laughs> Lorraine. Lorraine. Oh well. Oh, okay. <laughs> hey guys, I'm Jess Dammers with Board Game Geek TV, and I'm here with Arthur Schulten. Yeah, correct. Uh, we're going to talk about Lor Laurent. 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 <laughs> Laurent. 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 Um, so, why don't you go ahead and get started for me? Okay. Well, each player uh, gets a mission card. This mission card has a short play version and a longer play. White means uh, free of choosing. And uh, there are cubes on lands, and cubes represent workshops. Uh, and the land uh, says what type of workshop. So uh, this would be a leather workshop, a tannery, something like that, uh, a, a mill, uh, free of choosing. There are other uh, lands as well, like uh, the forest, so that would be a sawmill. Um, uh, what do we have? A leather, a rock, so a stone, stone cutting workshop. What's and, that? And this is a lavender field. A oh. lavender field doesn't have a workshop and the, that has to do with a witch. Oh. Ladenmore. Well, each player starts out with a start card with a number, the lowest number starts. So you get, in this case, a sawmill, a castle, and um, a, 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 a farm. That's what it's called. So you have to complete this. In order to get stuff, you have to throw uh, in your turn with the chance ball. So no die, but our invention chance ball. There's three holes in it. When you throw the beads, Three uh, beads are selected, and you get the corresponding colored raw material. In this case, a green cow and two wheat. Yellow a cow? Wheat. It's a green cow. Yeah, it's just a color. Oh, in, color. In, in okay. the Netherlands, all cows are green. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so with the raw material, uh, you actually can't do anything yet. You first have to process the raw material to product cards. And with a combination of product cards, you can build new uh, uh, workshops, castles, in order to win. Well, here comes the trick. You only started out with one of the uh, four optional workshops. And the other players get the other workshops. So, in order to get your uh, stuff processed, for instance, I threw this, I got this, I can use my own workshop, transform that in a product card. But for blue, I have to negotiate with the red player to get it processed. So I would ask you, can I use your workshop and I'll pay you a week, for instance. Is well, it whatever price you want or is it a set? No, it's, it's a free, uh, free to negotiate. So I could be like two weeks for one yeah, stone? Yeah, or I could use your uh, workshop or uh, just no, could be an option. I could just let you use it? Sorry? I could just let you use it? Yeah, oh, yeah. That'd be very yeah, good. yeah for free. Yeah, yeah, that would be really it's nice. nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's I'm too not nice, nice, maybe. So. <laughs> Okay, when I get a combination of cards, I can build this extra workshop, for instance, uh, uh, the ladder workshop, Tenery, um, and process it to, uh, in the direction of my mission. There's um, uh, uh, some rules to it. A workshop always has to border next to a castle. A small castle can have only two workshops, and a big castle can have four workshops. Ooh, big castle. The difference is, a small castle, you only have to pay one foot at the end of your turn. A big castle, you have to pay two foot. If you don't have enough foot, you have to remove the flag, or a workshop, or the castle. You could lose your whole castle? Whole castle. Oh, no. So, food is important. That's why, in the game, there's only one mill. In this situation, where red has the mill, green builds the mill, Red loses the mill. That's why you always get three uh, flower cards for one uh, wheat uh, as an exception to the others. Um, so the owner of the, 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 the mill uh, would be uh, in a good position to negotiate. There's a way around for that, those players who, um, 
who don't want to cooperate, who, who don't want to make a deal. Um, two lavender will give you one um, uh, witch. With a witch I can bully a bit. I can make this, this uh, area occupied, so you can't build here anymore. I hope anybody hears me now, but... <laughs> Wait, we're good. Yeah. Um, the theme, uh, the deuces of Lorraine. Yeah? Uh, the theme of the game is the deuces of Lorraine. Um, I occupy this land. The next lavender I can transform into a magic card. And with this magic card, I can change over any raw material in another type or a product card in another type. Okay. So that's a way around that um, bullying other player. I like it. So it's a very good game for two players, uh, extendable to four players within the same game, and optionally an extension for five to six player pieces. So in a the game there are uh, eight plates, both sided printed, and you can uh, lay them down any way you like. Um, there are more extensions within the game. For instance, extra beats. With these beats, I can change the combinations uh, of beats in the bowl. And uh, that way I have a direct influence on my chance. So um, I could uh, put more uh, yellow in if I have a farm on the yellow. That's the rule. Um, so I get more chance on, uh, on the yellow to get a yellow. When I change the combination, I pass it over to the next player and he has to continue with that. So uh, that way I also have influence on his chance. I can make him starve because I took out all the food. For okay, so like, but so it's only, it only gets changed, it only gets changed once per round? Or? No, at the beginning of your turn. Oh, so at each the beginning player of my can turn. change it, but he can change only uh, as many pearls as he has farms. And I can only add uh, where, uh, where he has farms on, the, the color he has farms on. I see. So you could, I mean, the best way to do this would be to drop it in there. Yeah, not yeah. To just put down the bowl, throw the beats in. drop it in like yeah. that, instead of like... And when, <laughs> when the bowl goes out, you have to sing a song, so... Oh, uh, <laughs> no singing on live TV, but... It's a nice bowl. Yeah. yeah. Does that come with the game? Yeah, that's in the Yeah, yeah. there's a lot of weight. It's a, it's a real kind of thick... Been. Yep. Bowl. Yep. So, whoop, I'm dropping the beads. Can I so, make a necklace out of these beads? Uh, you could. You could. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, this one um, uh, extension might be worth explaining. Uh -huh. uh, if you think the game should have more uh, later on, you could play it like this. Uh, my castle is bigger, so this becomes red. I can uh, steal this. So before it's red. So this is equal, so nothing changes. And you could just build and, yep. you know. And but as soon as this happens. Yeah, then you change over. Yep. And what? how do you get this added? Oh, you have to build, uh, uh, build it, improve your castle with uh, uh, a brown and a blue card. Okay. And then... That's one of the many extensions in the game. And then this influences, it's just an outer influence. Yeah, you get an extra. When, when uh, you have a... For instance, we have a farm on blue. Blue was thrown, so that's a multiplier, so I get a double. Oh, okay. okay. Well, um, another thing in the game would be uh, a witch battle. A witch battle? A wit witch battle. And for instance, this situation. Uh, let's put it like this. A green really wants to get rid of this witch because it's in a way I can't build a mill here. I can play a, a purple card, a magic card. I take up the two witches and I throw until one stands up and the other lays down. So green's the winner. That's a witch battle. That's the if witch only battle. all battles were like that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so then we free up the country and uh, we can build a mill here. So it's really a dynamic game. Uh, we've worked on it for about three years and uh, we've had uh, situations where uh, somebody completely went off the board and still won the game. It's that dynamic. For two player it would be half an hour and if you use the uh, extensions in the game for six players it could uh, run up to about two hours. Okay. All right. Well, very cool. Thank you for, uh, for 
you're stopping by and showing us Lorraine. Lorraine, yeah. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Thank you, Bye.